If you are an 18650 battery user, this is gonna be the most important tool in your arsenal. You can charge your batteries, it can discharge them and find the capacity, it gives you a ton of statistics down here. So I absolutely love this one. I'm gonna show you why it is better than this one later on, but first, let's just see how to use it. So it comes with two USB-C plugs. I'm gonna plug them in here. Each one provides two amps. So you can get one amp per battery to charge or discharge them. You need to plug them both in because this side supplies power to these two batteries. This side supplies power to these two. So if you only have one side plugged in, you'll only be able to work on one side. Now looking at the screen that has turned on, you have V for voltage, A for amps to charge or discharge, milliamp hours for the capacity, milliwatt hours is another value to show capacity, resistance, which can show you authenticity of batteries, the time you've been charging or discharging. Then on this other side, we will get into that after we put the batteries in. So you have a negative side on top, positive on the bottom. You wanna make sure to line those up and not put them in the wrong way because that could damage your equipment. Put these in real quick and you can already see that the first channel is showing the voltage for the battery. So there we go, last one. Here, there it is. Now I'm gonna show you the buttons down here. You have mode, which is gonna switch between the three values on the bottom right, mode, stop, and loop. So with mode, you can switch them. So this button switches. It is going to, you can choose discharge, automatic mode, or charge. Then if you go mode again, this is the stop voltage when you're discharging. You're gonna switch the value here. It only goes up to 3.5. So you can discharge as low, as high as 3.5, as low as 2.5, I find that 2.8 works pretty good for me. Mode, loop, so if you switch the mode to automatic, you can use the loop function, which charges and discharges your battery. And then you can do that up to nine times. So if I'm on automatic and I switch it to nine, and let's put it on automatic here, and over this button is the start stop button. Start, it's gonna charge it up, discharge, charge, and it'll loop nine times doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop, go to the last button, which is channel. So it'll switch between your four batteries. This is channel one on the left, two, three, four. We're on four right now. Channel, we have switched to one. We want to charge this one. It'll, it just automatically set to 4.2. There's no changing that, which is fine for me. Start, we are charging channel one now. We are going to go to the next battery. It is on discharge. So yes, I want to discharge it to 2.8. Start, and you can see the blinking LEDs show that it is doing what you want it to. It's running your fan. Go to the third channel. So no LED is going. Let's say we want to start the automatic. Which automatic? You know your status is charging. So we'll charge it up. Once it's done, it'll discharge and charge again. If it is solid red, it means it is done doing whatever you have told it to do. So once it's ran this one nine times, it will be solid red. Fourth one is on stop right now. So that really quickly was how to use the buttons, what everything means. Now I will tell you a couple things. So this machine is up to 95% accurate when getting a, a capacity. And to get a good capacity, you must be discharging. If you're charging, it will show milliamps going up, but that's not gonna be your actual capacity. To get an actual capacity, you charge up. As high as this charger will charge your battery, which is around 4.2. It will then stop. You'll switch it to discharge. You'll push start. Battery will discharge and the milliamps will go up. 
until it stops and you will know then how many milliamps up to 95% accuracy of your capacity, which for the price, I think is pretty good and you can't beat it. Now we're gonna compare these two. Um, you got this guy here. I'm gonna steal a plug, plug it in. This guy comes with this, which can flip the batteries out pretty easy, which I like because it's hard to grab them. The difference between these two is this guy does not discharge your batteries. It's only set to charge up to 4.2. Your percentage here isn't very accurate. I found you have three modes for charging amounts, but if you have all four batteries in, it only gets six up to six amps and you it doesn't come supplied with the wires which i don't like so this isn't actually going to charge your batteries at these exact values right here it'll say milliamps it switches to it one sec milliamps so this will go up as you charge your battery but it is not accurate so really all you get from this is a charger and it's not super accurate it doesn't give you very many values that is why this one is just so much better for the value. If you have any questions about what I've explained, I will answer them in the comments, so just let me know. And thank you for watching.